we're moving to a much more kind of bi-directional model. Uh, one of the, the latest uh, announcements is in California now, they're mandating that all new homes be built with solar roof tiles. So many, many homes now are going to be generating power as well as receiving power. So it's, a, it's shifting from kind of a one-way uh, mode of power to, to dual-way. Much of the SON and SDH gear that's been deployed in utility network is really only designed to last you know, 20 years. So we're basically at the end of life now. It's dual storm in that the chance of an outage is going up and the very people you need to maintain it are, are retiring. Just the overall ability to do any-to-any -any communications, you know, multi-point type of communications that's rather challenging in a TDM world, can be accomplished easily in the packet world. What utility companies deploy are sensors which are measuring the current phase and frequency of, of the power grid. And when those things don't match, when they have a surge, they need to flip a switch and isolate that part of the grid. So the latency of those messages has to be ultra low latency, typically under 10 milliseconds. Literally one power cycle is what they need for it not to cause a bigger outage. So in today's environment, no business can sit still. We don't have the luxury of having resources that are available to manually touch things. We need to be able to turn on a dime. And in the utility industry, it's critically important that you do that very quickly. And when you look at a network, there is so much in terms of the smart grid that depends on speed, resiliency, security. You've got to be able to do that very fast. And so moving and migrating to a flexible, adaptive network that is secure, then means you can deliver on your mission objectives as far as always on, always available, and to do that in a safe environment as critical infrastructure. And really, it's, it's all about also converging OT and IT networks, which have been deployed separately as separate silos, but now utilities, uh, for cost reasons, want to converge the two together. And both those networks have very varying requirements. OT requires, again, very, very high performance. The IT requires much more bandwidth. So by moving to packet optical, you have the ability to converge both networks together into one, which is gonna reduce their CapEx and OpEx going forward. The benefits you get from moving to a packet technology is being able to converge on a single infrastructure. Um, that has a number of benefits at the corporate level where they begin to talk about cost reductions, um, just the ability to train your workforce on a more on a smaller set of technologies, not having to worry about you know, all the Sonnet TDM technologies that, that are out there, um, allows you to narrow the scope of what your, your staff has to support, which leads to cost reduction as well. We start talking to customers about upgrading their core network. That usually leads to a WDM deployment, multiple wavelengths, in order to support the, the high capacity they need on their core network. We look at deploying kind of an underlay of an optical DWM network, be able to take their legacy sonnet traffic and keep it as it is, um, and run it as a wavelength on a DWM network, and then be able to have the capacity to support all those other applications. The utility business model is, is rapidly changing. Uh, traditionally, they really were kind of one-way distributors of power. They generated the power, whether from coal, nuclear, or hydro. Um, that power was transmitted to the cities and then distributed. By working in concert with Schweitzer, we've been able to deliver a solution that does deliver that level of TDM performance for those high performance circuits such as teleprotection and SCADA. And, and utilities are actually going to be becoming much more brokers of being able to provide multiple sources of power to their customers. And again, the network will be the key underpin to make that all happen, to be able to match uh, energy demand with supply. So what's unique about Light River and why they excel in that area specifically? They've made the investments to have a significant number of their resources um, to be highly skilled technical engineers that know that network inside and out. It's really hard to find in a channel environment and it's one of the things that I look at as a vendor to say this is how you set yourself apart and how the combination of us together bring a stronger solution offering into the market. Working with Lay River, they can pull together all those pieces of the solution, uh, support both Schweitzer and Sienna, as well as offer network management of some of those legacy TDM uh, networks that are out there.